The Fox and the Birds There was once a fox who decided to give up his usual method of hunting. In fact, not realizing that he could not change his inwardness by a change of outwardness, he really thought that by telling other creatures what to do, he would earn merit for himself and would abstain from doing them harm. He was, in a word, in his own mind, a reformed character. His lectures to all and sundry, and his apparently saintly way of life, attracted many to him, especially birds. For as everyone knows, birds tend to go by appearances and to feel ashamed when challenged with their shortcomings. The crow first applied to the fox for instruction, and the fox took him to his mountain retreat. Next came the cock, and finally the owl. The fox interviewed the birds one by one. To the crow he said, You live on dead bodies, and although you think you can repent, nothing but death is good enough for you and he seized the crow and killed and ate him. After a day, the fox sent for the cock. Do you repent your fighting proclivities, your lavishness and your pride? he asked. Yes, indeed, I abandon all of these forms of behaviour, and now I want to learn the way to improve myself, so that I may enter upon the path of the elect. I will give you a suitable punishment, said the fox. He grabbed the cock to beat him, but as soon as the taste of feathers reached his mouth, he was unable to prevent himself killing the bird. Oh well, said the fox, everyone knows that cocks are incorrigible. Finally, it was the turn of the owl. Owl, said the fox, I know you want to improve yourself. But although you may think that you have repented, you must demonstrate it. Now listen while I speak of mice and sparrows, and I will watch you. The fox began to talk about delicious mice and sparrows, and he saw that the owl was licking his lips in spite of his good resolutions. And, at the same time as he registered that the owl had not been able to detach from his habits, the fox himself felt the saliva running from his own mouth. Before he knew what he was doing, he sank his teeth into the owl's neck. As he did so, it seemed to him that he was performing a good deed, and he said to himself, I shall undoubtedly earn eternal merit by ridding the world of this unprincipled killer. The opinion of a fox about himself or others is just as valuable and as useless as any other opinion when there has been no real change in either or both. Mm -hmm.